Hey everyone, uh, in this video we are going to uh, change the thermal paste on our ASUS VivoBook F571 GT laptop. So let's just get started. So the first step is to um, remove the uh, back panel and for that we are going to use these screws and this is our thermal paste that we are going to use, um, cryonaut. Um, Thermal Grizzly, Ultra Grace, whatever. Uh, this is supposed to be the best thermal paste out there. So yeah. Um, you can find the link for this uh, thermal paste in the uh, video's description. So there are two screws inside of these, um, uh, what are these called, pads, or rubber pads. So you have to remove these two screws to get inside, to actually remove the back panel. Now the next step is to remove the back panel. So. Uh, to remove the back panel, we have to use something um, to like get inside this small uh, space. So yeah, if I'm using this, you can use something even uh, thinner. So it's like this. Now we have. Now we're in. Then this. Have to remove the back panel one by one, going all around the corners, and we have our back panel off. So yeah, it's a little dirty. I will clean that too. So these are two fans. Uh, we have to remove these fans. Uh, we'll first first before uh, touching anything on the laptop. We have to remove the battery. And after removing the battery, we'll remove the fans. Then we'll remove this th thermal pipe or heating heat sink. And after he removing the heat sink, we'll apply the thermal paste uh, here and here. Right? Yeah. Okay. So um, let's just get started on unscrewing the um, battery. Yeah, remove the battery. And to remove the battery, uh, first we have to remove these three screws. One, two, three. Yeah. And let me just do that first. Okay, so now that we have uh, the screws removed, uh, what we have to do is uh, remove the battery uh, from the top first, then from here. Here you can see it's attached through a hose, oh, not hose, like through a. I'm not sure what to call that, but. Uh, we have to remove it like this. Uh, follow the step just like I'm doing right now because that's important. If you do something else, it, you could hurt your battery. So yeah, first remove this like this, easy, and then the this this part. So it was attached from here. Okay, so now that we have our battery removed, we can uh, remove the RAM of the laptop and all the other parts. Let me keep the battery aside. So now let me remove the RAM. We have removed the RAM. Um, make sure to uh, keep everything um, in a safe place. And now we're going to remove the fans. So um, removing the fans is not really necessary. You can just uh, remove the heatsink and uh, apply the thermal paste, but I uh, suggest that you remove the fan. But before removing the fans, let's just clean some of the dust with the. Uh, this is a, a microfiber cloth. Make sure not to damage any part of your laptop because if you damage the motherboard, your laptop is good as gone if it's not in warranty. Okay, so now we are going to remove the fans. Uh, first, we'll unscrew the fans. Uh, I'm gonna start with the CPU fan. 
uh, after removing this rules you have to remove this um, connection and it's really easy you just have to pull it out gently like this, this. Of the connection removed now we can remove the pan so we have removed the pan and we'll put it aside and clean it later now we are going to remove the second pan first unscrew then remove the connection easy not really don't push a lot of pressure and we have removed the second pan and we'll clean it too later now that we have removed the fans we can go ahead and remove the heatsink first we have to unscrew the heatsink now we're gonna remove the heatsink uh, unscrew the heatsink first nice and easy don't put a lot of pressure anywhere let's go removed the screws now we'll just put it out like this it is okay so as you can see uh, it has a thermal paste but I think they did not uh, do a great job at applying this thermal paste or maybe this thermal paste was just not good enough I recently got my pan this change so yeah so it was my laptop was lagging, lagging because of the quality of thermal paste I think but this thermal paste is fairly new but we'll just still re uh, replace it with this one because this is supposed to be the be uh, best and also better than whatever they put it here so yeah first we have to clean uh, heatsink then we have to clean this uh, CPU and GPU I'm not sure if which one is uh, yeah this is GPU and this is CPU so yeah let's just go ahead and clean the heatsink um, I'm gonna use this microfiber cloth and I have also this uh, isopropyl alcohol for that. Okay, since our both CPU and GPU are clean now, um, we can go ahead and um, add the thermal paste on it. So this is the thermal paste and this is the spatula So to, to spread the thermal paste. Make sure when you apply the thermal paste, put more thermal paste uh, in the center and less uh, comparatively less thermal paste on the edges so that when you uh, put the heat sink on top of it uh, the thermal paste does not go uh, around the edges so that's you have to make sure that uh, it remains on the center on top of the um, cpu and gpu I think this is good enough because when we we'll, uh, put it on the top, uh, the thermal paste with will spread itself. Mm. Yeah. I think we have finished our thermal paste uh, syringe. Uh, it doesn't have any more thermal paste so yeah i've used it like uh, i've used it like five times already so yeah i think it's good if you're gonna use it for more than once 
and it was around 700 rupees i think so yeah this is finished and this is also good to go and yeah we'll just put the oh let, let me just clean the uh, heat sink before putting it back on so so now we have cleaned the heat sink um, basically the uh, this space for the air to pass through we have cleaned it it was it, it had a lot of dust in it so yeah so now what we have to do is just um, put it gently on top and when i put it on top of this uh, the thermal paste will spread itself and it will uh, go around the edges so we have to make sure that uh, not a lot of it goes around the edges and most of it stays on top so yeah let's just put it on top and align it properly so uh, i'm aligning the uh, screw screw holes so now okay so now uh, the thermal paste must have spread uh, must have had spread inside we're not going to remove the heat sink again because if we do that uh, there it might cause a lot of air bubbles inside the thermal paste and the heat sink we have uh, our heat sink on place uh, now it's time to screw the heat sink back on so here are the screws Okay, now uh, we have our uh, heat sink screwed back on. Uh, now it's time to attach the fans back. But before attaching the fans, let's just clean the fans and then screw them on. Okay, now that we have cleaned our fans, it's time to uh, put them back on the motherboard. So first we'll uh, start with the GPU's fan. Um, so we'll put it like this. And... Yeah. Uh, now we are going to attach the connection between the fan and the motherboard. So it's really easy. You just have to uh, push it in. Yeah. And after pushing it in, you'll uh, feel the uh, connection. Like when it actually connects, you will feel that it, it has connected. So yeah. Uh, now it's time to screw it back on. So we can just adjust the cables. Yeah. So. Okay, let's just screw it first, then adjust the cables. Okay, now we have screwed the um, GPU fan. And we'll adjust the cables. Okay, done. Cables are adjusted. So let's just attach the CPU fan. So uh, the process is going to be the same. First, attach the connection, and then the um, screws. So this goes under this wire, and this goes right here. And yeah, okay, now, uh, now let's screw it back on. Okay, now we have uh, attached the screws. Um, we're gonna connect the fan with the motherboard. And this is kind of uh, you know, tricky because of this wire. So it's connected, this is also connected and let's just test if our laptop works, it should work. Okay before battery we have to first attach the RAM, uh, this is the RAM that we removed before. The RAM is attached and now let's go ahead and 
that's the battery so it's gonna be the same process like before push this part into this one i'm not sure what it's called but yeah uh, okay so the attach is the part is attached and gently put it on top like this and the battery is attached so now we'll just screw it back on um, screw the battery back on so um, uh, almost all of our work is done uh, but now we have to do is um, put this back panel on and check if our laptop is working or not and hopefully it should work because uh, we did not damage anything so yeah let's just go ahead and check that so now that we have cleaned the back panel we'll just attach it back on and check if that laptop is working or not uh, rotate it so you can see if it works or not like it and then. so you can see this dust on it let me just clean the dust first now let's see if it turns on or not, on or not. Um, so okay so that's a good sign mm. yeah so the laptop works and we have successfully applied the thermal paste on our laptop and yes so the next step is to just turn off the laptop and attach the screws on the back panel so this is the final part of the process and if you like this video please do subscribe and uh, click the like button because it helps us to um, create more videos like this and we really enjoyed applying the thermal paste and hopefully the performance of our laptop will improve now and yeah thanks for watching and please do subscribe